Hello and welcome back to the channel again for the final part of our little Easter series. We're going to be putting all of those flowers together into the little eggs and creating a couple of really nice little displays that you can use for Easter. Um, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Check out our website immaculateconfections.co.uk for all your supplies and um, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so do you want to do um, top down? What do you want, actually? Top I don't down. know. Or we can do the side one. We can, yeah. Let, me move, let me move my glass out of the way. Ta da! Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, those are my little eggs in their egg box. Um, so what we will do today, we will uh, we'll do an egg because we need an egg to make some moss. We'll make some moss. I'll show you how to fill the eggs. Um, we'll arrange them and then as I say at the end I've got this sort of other idea to put them together. It, it's really cute right? And then, oh you can see in the back this is my yeah millions of colours. I've been saving egg boxes like an insane person. Um, Move that out of the way, that's better. And these things for the moss. Um, yeah, they are, they are very, very cute. Um, this is just a little tray I had from something, I don't know what, um, that I ended up putting it in because it meant I could move it around because <laughs> I realised I had artfully in those photos sprinkled the, the soil and everything around and then obviously what that just actually did was make a mess. Um, so here I have, this is its best angle this way around. Um, so I've done two with the lilacs, two with some pansies and then two with some crocuses. Um, I do kind of wish the crocuses were purpley, um, although the green looks very nice. I'm not so sure. I don't know, the yellow feels a bit harsh next to it, but anyway. So shall we... Um, do you want to give me top down? <laughs> okay. I got the just got to work out the right order of things today. Um, right, so first things first, the soil, which just looks like this. It is it is nothing more complicated. Um, crushed up Oreos and crushed up cake crumbs. Um, this is part of a much larger pot that I had left over from when we did flora, as it happens. Um, as you can see, it's just. It's just gone stale. So for something like this, which obviously we're not eating, because it's not going anywhere near any food, um, it's um, yeah, it's kept. So you just literally, you just with the Oreos, you just take the biscuits apart, scrape out the middle, um, shove them in a plastic bag, like a food bag, and then just bash and or roll over them with a rolling pin to crush them. And then I'm not sure if it shows up very well on the camera. Can probably spread some out on something. There was, I did have them, um, and that'll do loads of the kitchen towel. For a bit of additional texture, there's also some cake crumbs in there. Um, in there. Yeah, just so that it's not all one colour. Um, so you could use bourbon biscuits, would give you a slightly lighter brown than just the Oreos, but yeah, that's that's soil. And incidentally, if ever you want to make sand, use digestives. Um, and similarly crush them up. The only thing you've got to watch with this, and the same is true with sand, is that because they're greasy, um, they will leach grease into paper or ribbon. So just mind if you are putting them on a cake board or something like that, um, you just put some sellotape on the back of your ribbons and stuff and then it won't... Um, You won't get the, the sort of oily grease mark. So yeah, that's that's it for the soil. And you can see that I have popped some soil in the top of the eggs and sort of around them. Um, so that's the soil. We will now make some moss, which is going to then also double up with a bit of egg um, preparation. No, stay, stay top down because we'll do it here um so the moss is is a glorious glorious thing um 
do you guys remember Flora? I don't know, have you got a picture of Flora? Not easily to hand, unfortunately. I wonder if we can... I don't know, see if you can find... Oh, it doesn't matter too much. If you do command and space bar and just search for Flora, it'll probably bring something up, I'd have thought. But yeah, so edible moss, best thing in the world. It is so mossy, right? It's just fantastic. Um, Gina's favourite thing, Moss Master 5000. She spent a lot of time gluing little bits of moss onto bits of flora. So um, I'll show you how to make this just now. And we're going to have Chris running back and forth to the kitchen for different things. Um, oh. Yeah, do you want me to do on a hand quickly? Me? Yeah. No, do the hand. Just go, I'll just go to the front and then okay. I'll just, I'll All right, thank God. We'll just. And we'll, oh, actually, I can do it like this. Have a little chat. See, because I can't use my phone. I know I've got some good pictures on my phone, but I can't use that. Um, so, Flora was the second feature we did for Cake International. Dinner. There was lots of moth and lots, lots of soil, and it was just very cool. And yeah, Gina placed a lot of moss with a lot of tweezers and a lot of um, royal icing. So, moss. Um, incidentally, some of this moss is also still from Flora because we had more than I needed, so I kept it. Um, and it it hasn't it hasn't done anything. It has remained as it is. Um, so we want. Do you want to put that extra slide up? Uh, yes. So now is your moment to take a screenshot. <laughs> Let's do it the wrong way. <laughs> um, so it's based on a, a recipe um, from pastrymadness.com with a couple of adjustments to, to the, the recipe and the um, method there. Um, so one egg, three tablespoons of flour, one and a half tablespoons of baking powder, Teaspoon. teaspoons, baking powder, tablespoon of sugar, and some golden syrup in there. Um, and it is the baking powder and the golden syrup that makes it puff up, um, giving you that bubbly texture that then looks like moss. So, if you want to do this top down, we can make some. Oh, right, before we do that, I'm going to show you how to clean an egg. Hang on. And I realise I sound like a crazy person, but... If you were in the UK, and I would assume they do the same thing in other countries as well. I do not know they do in the States. But you will always get, in the supermarkets, the line mark on these. Um, which just means they come from vaccinated flocks. And I think there's a, I don't know, maybe a date. Anyway, the way to get that off, it turns out, according to Google, and it works a treat, um, is with vinegar. And um, as you can imagine, over the last few weeks, I've cleaned a lot of eggs. So it's literally, it's just malt vinegar and just it cleans off now top tip that i've learned the hard way is that it is much easier to clean your eggs than now while they're still solid and you can actually hold on to it without, than, crushing, them. without crushing them and um, when they're still full of egg in fact then afterwards so you can see it comes off like a dream and um, so it's just vinegar i would assume it works with other vinegars oh um, what's golden syrup it's like oh, what is golden Americans. syrup? It's like um, corn syrup. It is, it's sugary syrup. It's like maple syrup. Yeah, but it's not from a tree. No, no, I know, but it's the same consistency. Um, you can use corn syrup or honey, or I'm sure that glucose would work as well, yeah. It's just like a liquid sugar. Here it looks like this. And I recently learned, so Tate and Lyle have been making golden syrup since 1883, it says on the bowl. It's a very British thing, and they make um, treacle which is in the red tins and it's like you can only use the tin once it always seems because it will become it's like a paint tin and it gets so sticky that you then have to really like wrench it open it's part of the fun and um uh they've rebranded them but this is it is the picture on it it's a lion i knew it was a lion but what it actually is is a lion it's a dead lion it's dead and it's covered in flies and it's out of the strong came forth sweetness which is to do with a bible story about bees in a lion making honey or something very strange anyway they they've got a window now is that what you said no on the, the the they've rebranded the bottles but not the tins or they've done the tins but not the bottles i don't know anyway something to make it a bit more modern and i was like oh yeah as opposed to a dead lion i, anyway. I never really noticed it was a dead lion but yeah vinegar 
and clean it off. Look at um, that. And um, regardless of what colour of shell as well. Yes, dear. Sandra had said that she's having a nightmare of her eggs oh. every time she cooks one, it cracks. So she only has one set of shells. So, so oh. the trick is. So I need to zoom out. No, no, it's fine. Sharp knife. Um, this is a nice heavy one from IKEA. I can recommend them hugely. You want to give it a really good thwack at that sort of three quarters. So normally, obviously, one would break an egg in the middle. If you do it about there, if as long as you do it with a really sharp knife, you should be able to get off just a little top. And then you can... So don't boil them first. Oh yeah, no, don't boil them first. Raw. And then just give it a really good wash. Um, which, Chris, your first job this evening. Can you go wash the sink? <laughs> go wash just wash it out. Just wash it in the sink, if you would. Thank you. Make sure I don't crush it. Try not to crush it. Um, right, so we want one egg. We want three tablespoons of flour. Um, we're making moss as opposed to anything, you know, more fancy pants than that. So I'm not going to sieve it, I'm not going to worry about doing anything special. Yes, it, it, yeah, the same, you want to crack it in the same place you would indeed crack it if you were having eggs and soldiers. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Fortunately, I knew what you meant. Um, Chris, love, can I have a teaspoon as well, please? Do you want the lid or the top of the egg? Nah, it's fine. I don't need that. Do you want a teaspoon? Yeah. I'll start mixing this just while we're waiting for him to bring the tusp. Okay. Oh, thank you. What? Do you want me to dry it? No. Okay. It can drip dry there. Um, one and a half teaspoons of thing. And again, I'm not being super precious about it. And then about one and a half things of golden syrup. Now, I don't have any with me, but another nice tip. I don't know where I even learn these things half the time. Um, if you put some oil or some butter on your spoon before you do golden syrup or honey or anything like that, it stops it sticking. So that's one-ish. That would be my half-ish. But yeah, just anything um, liquid and sugary should do it. Syrupy. Mm, what are they? Yeah, they just taste sweet. Can I have some? Yeah, you can actually. You can take those spoons away from me. <laughs> right, I'm just going to mix this all up. Please bear with. Of course, you can do this with a actual like a whisk or a hand mixer. There are a thousand and one more civilised ways you could do this than what I'm doing just now, but anyway. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Yeah, sure. Right. And then, of course, we want to colour it green. Um, and I have some little bowls so that we can do some different shades of green. Actually, the lock can just stay. Am I having the enough to go and put that in the microwave? Oh, yeah. In the metal tin? No, dear. Obviously, not in the metal tin. Just check. On account of the fact that I am a functioning adult that's been a baker for just, the best part you know, of 12 it's easy years. To forget things. Is it, though? It is. Also, it's only a problem if you've got more than one metal thing. You've only got one metal item object in um, a microwave. It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. How do you know? Because I've seen. Do you not know, remember your grandfather's plates? Yeah, they just get crackly. Yeah, um, but that was that was one thing. So, everyone, including my husband, no, I'm not going to cook it in metal bowls. I'm literally just using this to mix it. <laughs> because I just wanted to make a point of showing you. That as with all things, we can do, in fact, a range of colours. So I'll do, I'll pop, actually I'll stick some more leaf green in there, let's make that a bit darker. 
Oh, I'm gonna make such a mess tonight. Mm. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to put it in this, um, which is just it's a takeaway tub. So sort of thing you'd get from a Indian or Chinese or whatever. Um, it will hopefully rise quite a bit. So whatever you put it in, just make sure that there is space for it to rise. And... Equally, make sure it's not something that you're too in love with because the tub could get damaged. Um, so yeah, just something that if you have to sacrifice it, it doesn't matter, which is why one of these takeaway things is perfect. Um, and then just for good measure, I could do a little swirly-whirly with it. Okay, and then this, Chris is going to take this for us and he's going to put it in the microwave. Um, for two minutes. At full power. At full power, and I'm 99% sure we did it for two minutes with that whole thing in there. We'll see. Um, we will see what happens. And then, because he's so kind, he's going to come back and he's going to take away the washing up. So yeah, it's just two minutes in the microwave. Like, keep a wee eye on it, because it's going to depend on the power of your microwave, how big your pot is, etc, etc. I think ours is a 800 watt microwave. Yeah, 8 or 850, can't quite remember. But right. no, just... uh, I'll go to them actually. Oh, could you just turn to camera before you walk off again, please? Uh, yeah. your rear ends. And it is properly, if I do it from the side, you'll be able to see. Spongy. Um, spongy like a uh, sponge. And I know that sounds like a ridiculous thing to say, but because of the... So... You've got a lot of egg to the rest of the ingredients, so it binds it really well. Bars. That's two um, eight hundred. Which makes it spongy, mm -hmm. plus you all of that. What's that? Name? No, no, it's fine. Um, and then, like, let it cool down. I'm not going to because obviously I just want to be able to show you guys. But you just pull it apart, and there, my friends. It's your moss. That's it. And yeah, if you would actually do the side camera. Um, so I guess I probably wanted to have put a bit more colouring in it. But anyway, yeah, look, it just looks like moss. And the trick is we found, I say we, I uh, mostly mean Gina, Moss Master 5000, um, little bits. Um, so the, the blog we sort of based this on... Um, I'm oh, sorry. The blog we based it on was, um, oh, sorry, that was a very much a close up of my. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it says do it in plastic cups, which you can totally do. I preferred, we preferred this shape, didn't we? Um, just because, yeah, you can just make these nice long bits. Does it go mouldy? Um, no, I mean, I'll be we honest. Have a tub of it, right? <laughs> so. I sort of kept these by accident insofar as I refound oh, them. Um, and this, if you in fact just swap back for a second, sorry, there's going to be a lot of this tonight. This Tupperware, those white bits aren't mould, it's just where it wasn't mixed properly because you know you can't get the stuff. Um, when did we do Flora? More than two, two years, years ago. Two years ago? 2022? Yeah, more than no, two years. It's grand. It doesn't go mouldy. Right, so you wouldn't want to eat this. You wouldn't want to give it to anybody, but no, it's not going to go mouldy, is what I'm getting at. So um, the answer is that lasts at least two, two and a bit years. <laughs> in, in terms of if you were... So it is edible, right? In terms of if you were going to eat it, treat it like a normal cake. So that it is fresh but in terms of using it for a display thing it will just dry out and go stale don't worry about it um but yeah and it's not it doesn't like it doesn't taste nice it, it, it doesn't not taste nice but it's dry and weird because usually um <laughs> it's fine <laughs> honestly no it's fine it's just dry oh yeah i totally use it on more have a stuff absolutely um, you normally have what about sixty grams of flour per egg, roughly in recipes. That's more or less the ratio. If we've got three tablespoons, that's what 
about 30 grams, 40 grams probably. So, so you've got a lot more egg than everything else. You've only got that one tablespoon of sugar as well. So yeah, it's just weird. Right, and then we can't see. So to prepare our eggs, um, what I've got is just some bog standard sugar paste, fondant icing. Doesn't matter what. No, just whatever. Um, yeah, just white sugar paste. This was from Lidl, I think. I've got a nice, clean, dry egg. And all I'm going to do is pop that in. I'm just going to use a ball tool, plastic one, because it sticks less, to just squish it in. Like so. And I want to fill it about two thirds ish. Give or take. I could probably put a little bit more in there. I don't know if you can see how high up that is. Yeah, you probably can. First. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, so I'll just pop a little tidy bit more in. And I'm sure, right, if you wanted to. Do you reckon you could like bake in an eggshell? Bake in an eggshell? Yeah. Um, or maybe fill them um, with chocolate ganache. Like, I'm sure there'd be a way you could adapt these to make them edible if you wanted to. Eggshells are quite durable. They are. And they're also like, they're not nice to eat, but they're not dangerous to eat either. Hmm. And then you want a drinking straw. So um, I've got some clear ones, as it happens. These are what we sell in our Posy Pick Packs on the website. There's sort of a range of plastic drinking straws and Posy Picks and whatnot. And we want to cut it so that we can pop it in the middle of the egg. Um, and yeah, that'll do. So it's sticking up a little bit. Do you want to do the side view again? You might be able to see that a bit better. There we go. Do you see that? Yeah. How full it is in the um, the straw. And the idea with the straw is simply because it's going to let you pop your flowers in and out easily to do as you rearrange things and stuff. Um, once you've done that, so I've got a well makeshift egg cup. You could totally use an egg cup. This is just where I've cut a bit of an egg box. Um, oh, do you want to do overhead again? Sorry. Keeping you on your toes tonight. Mm. Right, let me try and prise all these apart. So I've got a pale green one. <laughs> um, I've got a lighter blue one. I've got a yellow one. I've got a green one. Um, this was the original blue one that I cut that makeshift egg cup from. So if you just wanted to make the one, um, then you could totally do that, or you can use actual. I mean, you could also paint your egg boxes. You could well. totally paint your egg boxes, but it kind of, if, in my own personal weird little world that I live in, Chris, it became a bit of a fun game to pop into supermarkets and see what different colours of egg box I could find. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, but yeah, so that's there. What are we doing now? I am now, I'm gonna put some soil in. Um, so I have, my tiny spoon that I think was a mustard spoon yeah, it's my grandpa's yeah. but anyway it's very useful for things like this so I shall pop in some soil just around like so and then of course we can add some flowers so maybe actually let's go for little lilacs. Uh, do you want to do the side for me? I don't know, custards, custards in eggshells sounds like something that would happen. We've had, uh, I think I said this before, that we've had Easter eggs. Easter where they've been egg, like real eggshells filled with chocolate. So yeah, it's doable. I just, I don't know. I don't know that it's like a sell it to customers thing. It would be more of a at home thing, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, um, so here's my little egg. You can kind of see in the underneath of it, so if we wanted to, we can add some little bits of moss. 
like so. And then um, we can um, just have a bit of fun like decorating and styling them. So I have this which featured in one of the photos which is just it's a teeny tiny it's a, it's a cupcake stand um, you can see my hand it's a wee thing it was from Marks and Sparks years ago and it's one of those things that now in retrospect I wish I'd bought like five of them um, but it must be donkeys ago that I bought it and um, so any little things you've got like that because um, he can go on there and then I've got so I've made it a little nest you see like so, which looks very cute. Um, and then, hang on, I need to move it forward, don't I? And then, of course, we can just add some little bits of moss into the little nest if we wanted. And there's nothing stopping you using real twigs. Alternatively, all that little nest is is some 28 gauge wires just taped up with brown tape to give a bit of structure and add it into that you can do it all with wire or alternatively you can just take tape on its own and twist this up as well so that you sort of create a little you, you coat your 28 gauge wire make some circles kind of weave it in and out itself and then you can just sort of thicken it by adding um, more of these. Let me know, Lee, if that makes sense for the nest. So just tape around a bit of what the... Yeah, the brown, brown tape on wire, 28, 26 gauge, whatever you've got, just make it round, weave it into itself a little bit, and then you can bulk it up with just some twists of, of tape on there as well. Or like we said, use some real twigs. Um, so that's, that's one there. Um... Ah, Sandra, do you mean you can get the stand in the pound shop? Because if you can, we're going to be mobbing the pound shop for single cake, cupcake. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's one way we can do it. Um, this one here, of course, was in um. our... Um, in the egg box. And I told you I'm making such a mess tonight, I'm running out of space. <laughs> so that was the dark blue one. That was those St. Hughes eggs that I kept going on about mm -hmm. um, but as Chris said there's nothing stopping you painting your egg box um, all I've done is just cut off the lid oh yeah done do you want to do top down it's alright we're getting used to having the um, the thing that's it so yeah just cut off the lid and um, neaten off any other edges um, just, you need to oh sorry <clears throat> And have a play with the colours. And I've picked the yellow one because, of course, with most of these being purple, this is going to give us a completely different look. Oh, I did this. <laughs> Way to go to make something harder. Right, so then, um, do you want to swap again? Fine. Yeah. So that, similar look, but of course slightly different because it's in the yellow. Do but do you know what? This one. And so purple and yellow opposite on the colour wheels, so you get a nice little bit of contrast there. And again, in that photo earlier, all I had done really was just dotted around more stuff and of course I then put it into this little tray because I was like ah now that I've put all the stuff around it I can't move it so again you could put it on a plate it could go on a little tray it could go onto um you could cover a cake board even if you wanted to, to create a sort of custom shaped stand for it you could put it on a cake stand you can have it on anything um like that that you want with these the last thing that I just want to try actually is a green egg box because I just think that having a bit more green in the mix is going to look really nice actually. But do you want to, um, oh you can stay there, it doesn't really matter does it? Okay. 
because I just thought that this will, yeah, I think the green will look quite nice as well. Yeah, which it does. It's actually, it's quite, um, the camera's picking that up. But can you just swap to the overhead for a second? Yes. Because it's picking it up quite, can you see here? It's quite a bit greener than it looks on the side. But anyway, if you, so yeah, you can play with what colour you've got there. And, and a white one would look really nice. Um, yes, I think. Okay, so Diane likes the green best. Joe said she likes the yellow best. I think I liked the blue best. I think I like the coordination. I, I think. Oh, so, there are options there, aren't there? Absolutely. <clears throat> um, so, oh, Elaine likes the green. <laughs> so yeah, different ways with different different bits and pieces you can get. Um, so... If you swap to the front one. Okay, so this is, as I said, a bit of an adaptation of something that I saw on, I think it was Instagram, Gina sent it to me. Um, you need a cake tin. This is a six inch cake tin that I have here. Um, and what we're going to try and do is, using this as a form, we're going to glue our eggshells in a circle with the hot glue. So the first thing I shall do is fit my eggshells in. <laughs> so bear with one moment because I have more eggshells. I've been collecting eggs for some time. <laughs> um, <laughs> an excellent tutorial. Thank you very much. Right now these are just the, the oh, I don't think I don't know what size these eggs were. I don't particularly think they were large or whatever. But as you will see momentarily. That's right, are you good? Yes. There you go. Okay. Right, so they don't quite fit. We have a gap. Can you see the gap there? So what I'm going to do is. Um, Bit of kitchen paper that I'm going to fold up and put down the side in the hope that this is going to make it just <laughs> this is a really fun game um it's going to make it yeah just to make it slightly smaller so that they will fit better I'm not sure no, I might even need, actually, I think, I might even need less paper. Right, one second, if I... Work in progress. Yeah, very much so. If I cut this bit away. No. Oh, hang on, it's because that was the wrong... There we go, look, perfect. Right, that's what you want. All of them is touching, right? <laughs> um, so, let's see if... Whoa, the glue gun is hot. What? Yeah, that is hot. That was the most stupid thing I've ever done. What? Well, I was wondering if the glue gun was hot, so I literally just poked it into the palm of my hand. You were so... I know, do <laughs> I don't that? know. Zoom in. Actually, no, don't zoom in. I just need to put that in the middle. That was really dumb. I'm so sorry. Right. Wasn't your finest moment. No. So I'm going to take one out. You Actually, why I asked you if we were microwaving it. That yeah. Thing. Could you come here and help me, please? Instead of just sitting there providing sass. Can you just hold on to that egg there? And then maybe hold on to this egg here. This egg here. Yeah. Because then what I can do is take one out. Okay, so this is going to need a second pair of hands, apparently. The woman I'm in the gonna... video did it with one. Get on with it! My eyes itchy. What's that? I don't know. Right, blob of glue. Line it up. <laughs> what is that? What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. There are unidentified noises happening right, in the background. And then if you move, that's it. And then hold on to this egg. Oh. 
Right, again with some glue. There's probably, I'm sure somebody has a much more clever way to do this than the haphazard occurrence that is occurring. Okay, now hold on to that egg. <laughs> do you love me? Yeah. What have you done? Oh. I spilled the soil and I nearly said a bad word. Okay, you can let go of an egg now and scratch your eye. Sticky dots, yes. Also, these are most ancient glue sticks, so they're not the clearest, it has to be said, <laughs> anymore. Thank you, dear. Round of applause for Chris. There is an applause down there. There is, yeah. It would be hilarious if you found it now and did it for yourself. No, I don't really. Right. What I think I'm going to do with for the last one, because I've more or less got the shape. Oh. What? It just, that was scary. Let's take that out. If you're YouTube, it might just be the whole video. <laughs> no, it might be, to be honest. Oh, what, as in you're going to leave the whole thing? Well, I don't know. It'll be, uh, I don't know how it, what I'm going to take out, but we'll see. Right. Okay, I'm sure... Who said sticky dots? I like the idea of sticky dots or something. Uh, someone did say sticky dots. Oh, double tape as yeah, yeah, there will be a better way to do this, I think. And certainly, I'm, I'm kind of gutted that the, this glue stick is a thousand years old and therefore... Could you unplug the glue guard now, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh, they're, you're actually getting a round of applause. I was like, why is everybody it. doing these clapping emojis? <laughs> <laughs> right, so we will... Of course, put some soil in the eggs. So if we go to our other view, this this feels solid actually. Right, and then what we shall do is we can pop in some flowers. Um, let's see. That needs to trim down a bit. Oh, sorry. Nice pink shirt. And I'm just going to pinch. Oh. What? I've brought the, um, that doesn't matter actually. The straw has come with that one, but that's okay. I can just swap it. Um, let's have these three. Oh dear. I did have more little pansies and then I pretty much broke them all earlier. <clears throat> and sorry. Right, I'm calling in the tweezers just to swap over some um, straws. Oh dear. Uh, what else have I got? I've got a focus. Okay, I've got a little pansy which can go in over there, maybe. Right, I think so. And yeah. then um, I reckon I'll just take. I really like the lilacs. The lilacs are definitely my favourite thing. Oh no, but now I've got two lilacs next to each other, and that's not. We can't. Well, they're different colours. That's what you think? Yeah. Okay. How's that look? Oh, nice. I think. Oh, um, I can't cope with this being next to that. Of course you can't. No. Um, yes, dear. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case we have any new viewers, for the record, we like this because we actually get on really well. <laughs> uh, and to be honest, if you work with someone, live with them. <laughs> you have to be able to take the piss out. Of do, do all the things together all of the time. 
It's absolutely necessary or you would go insane. Um, right, and then we can add some little bits of, what's the name? Moss. Moss, yeah. Moss Master 5000. I don't even know why we started saying that to him, today. But I think I said it so many times it genuinely became annoying when it was like two in the morning and we were still dealing with things. Funny that we should mention there, Flora, because we are in fact, well, we are, we've got the go-ahead from the powers that be at Cake International and the idea is being... Uh, formulated. What I didn't tell you last night, Chris, was that actually that Gina and I may have exchanged some voice notes late at night about what we're going to do next year. We're not doing it, isn't it? We're not doing it the year after that. Um, oh dear. Wasn't what something to do with a computer game? Oh, Moss Master 5000. Yeah, probably. Or like, isn't that what you used to say, um, like, Step Master 5000 or just, whatever? Yeah, you know? generic machine type yeah. sounding thing. Uh, but yeah. So no, what, I, what I'm getting at is do keep yourselves poised and ready for um, details on, on it uh, very soon. Do you know what? You absolutely could. Yes, Elaine, you could, you could totally. That would be kind of cool. Put some, um, sort of glue some moss on. Right, now, don't go anywhere. Hang on just one second. In the past, aka myself, didn't bother painting the middle of it on the assumption that it would have a cake on it. Anyway, right, having done that, it just means that I can now pop those in the middle. I could just coat it in, cover it in moss, couldn't I? But again, just like we did before, um, we can come and just add some. It's staging, isn't it? Yeah. And there's no reason why you absolutely couldn't put this whole thing on the top of an Easter cake if you wanted. What is it? Signal cake that's for Easter? I've no idea. That's all I'm asking. You're not going to know. <clears throat> um, and I think there was somewhere I also had. What was it? We're doing this little tray. I had a couple of, so look, it's just a little, one of the little lilac flowers. There you go, you can actually see it. And I just taped it up brown and cut it very short so you could pop one or two of those around as well. But yeah, you can just sort of add what you want, really. Um, it works quite nicely, this, doesn't it? And I would say probably the only thing that's going to irritate me slightly, but we could fix that with the wires, is that the, um, oh, Dory, you're a genius. Yeah, look, in fact, we just, like, we've dumped the whole nest situation in the middle and pretend it wasn't not, oh, or, or, hang on, right, so we could totally put an egg in the middle. Hang on just a minute. Alternatively, what I have here, ready uh, from... Um, this was from, I don't know, one of the Christmas ones, which is still behind me. Oh, it's burning. Oh, okay, it's kind of wedged in on top of them. That'll do. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, you can pop a little candle in. I also saw on the internet where they'd, um, people had broken the eggshells open enough to put a tea light in them, but I think you'd need to have Bigger eggs. Bigger eggs, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like poor like sort of bigger big enough eggs that you sit there thinking, oh the poor chickens. Um Yeah, that doesn't quite I could have probably planned that better. But actually, I mean it sits there as well. Can you see that there's a candle? Yeah, you can. It is a light. It is a light. So, my lovely friends, let me move that back slightly. Let's push that out of the way. And this. And that. Oh god, there's so much stuff. Here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, right. do you want me to change to the front? No, I was just going to pop it there so that we can have a nice little look at it. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of, you know, oh, that's really cute. Maybe yeah. I'll give it to my mum. 
So there we go, a couple of excellent ideas for your Easter table. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, give us that like and subscribe. And um, if you're on Facebook, you can come over, join our group. It's Natalie's Cake Studio. If you search, you'll find it. Um, and you can share pictures of what you make because we always love to see. Take care.